The major parts of a typical servo valve are the torque motor, motor armature, jet tube, spool valve, force feedback spring, and failsafe bias spring. If the VIGV operating sequence requires a greater variable inlet guide vane angle, the control system will shift the spool valve of the IGV servo valve to a position which allows hydraulic fluid to flow to the upper section of the hydraulic cylinder. Hydraulic fluid from the lower section of the hydraulic cylinder is dumped to drain. The actuating arm of the hydraulic cylinder retracts and rotates the inlet guide vane ring counterclockwise, turning the variable inlet guide vanes to a greater angle. If the VIGV operating sequence requires a smaller variable inlet guide vane angle, the control system will shift the spool valve of the IGV servo valve to a position which allows hydraulic fluid to flow to the lower section of the hydraulic cylinder. Hydraulic fluid from the upper section of the hydraulic cylinder is dumped to drain. The actuating arm of the hydraulic cylinder extends and rotates the inlet guide vane ring clockwise, turning the variable inlet guide vanes to a smaller angle. The core of each LVDT moves as the angular position of the variable inlet guide vanes changes. This provides feedback to the control system concerning the actual VIGV angle. When the commanded IGV angle and the actual IGV angle are the same, the control system resets the IGV servo valve to its null position. Actuation of the inlet guide vane ring by the hydraulic cylinder pivots the guide vanes about their mounts and increases or decreases the effective inlet area of the compressor. As the actuating arm of the hydraulic cylinder retracts, the variable inlet guide vanes open. As the actuating arm of the hydraulic cylinder extends, the variable inlet guide vanes close.